Hey, good day, folks. Welcome to another episode of Andrew's Life. On this video, which was a last minute video, but on this video, I'm going to be driving through the city of Fortsville or the town of Fortsville, Indiana. Now, Fortsville, Indiana is a nice, small, quaint community. Uh, the population here is a little under 4,000 people. The population here is 3,929 people. And this town has been growing at a rate of 21% as of the 2020 census. Now the median home price here right now is at $330,000. So it is not cheap to live here. And this city is located in Hancock County, which is 41 minutes from Indianapolis. And you're only 18 minutes from Fishers, Indiana, which is the second biggest and most ex expensive suburb next to Carmel. And in fact, within a half hour of of this town you can reach pretty much all the major cities in Hamilton County and for those of you that are just tuning into my channel because you want to see Fortsville and you and you're not familiar with Indiana Hamilton County is one of the wealthiest suburbs. It was one of the wealthiest counties of the state of Indiana. And also, you're within a half hour of Greenfield, Indiana too, which is also a larger community compared to this one. So I would say if you're looking for a mixture of uh, suburban and maybe small town then you might want to come check out Fortsville, Indiana. Yeah, I meant to do some other videos, but, you know, due to gas prices and, and, you know, I'm recording this video, it's all, you know, it's already 3.30 on a weekday and rush hour is just around the corner and I don't want to be caught up in rush hour traffic in Indianapolis. I mean, not only will it diminish the quality of my video, I feel, but it will also be a lot of wasted time and gas just sitting in traffic and plus it'll be extra wear and tear on my vehicle. So, for practical reasons, I decided to go ahead and come and do a video of Fortsville. Now, on previous videos, I've driven through other parts of Fortsville, but this video is gonna be exclusively Fortsville, Indiana. And to be quite honest, I had no idea until today that Fortsville even had a downtown. So yeah, this video is gonna be specifically of Fortsville, Indiana.
Now I will say during the work week, during rush hour, uh, you know, this town will see a fair amount of traffic because you're gonna have people coming through here from the suburbs and from Indianapolis. So yeah, Fortsville being located where it's at, during rush hour, there's going to be a considerable amount, there's going to be a, a considerable amount of traffic in this town, and this town is fastly growing. So before you know it, Fortsville will no longer be considered a town; it will be considered an actual city. Now, I'm not sure if the state of Indiana has Fortsville recorded as a town or a city. But I figure since the population is less than 5,000 people, I call it a town.
nice old school. Man, that's my favorite model right there. Those those mid 1970s Ford F 150s. The one I just drove by that that yellow and white one. That's my favorite model. Those were one of my favorite years. Folks, I think you guys have a general idea. I think you guys have a health. I think you guys have a pretty good idea of what you can expect if you decide to move here to Fortsville, Indiana. So in a minute here, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. guys have seen all different type of neighborhoods in this town. So in the event that houses here become available, housing market slows up, which eventually I believe it will, because it always does at some point. Following a housing boom, there's going to be a, you know, I mean, I think there's going to be a housing crash. But even if there isn't a full-blown crash, there's going to be a point where the housing market at least slows up a little bit and the housing prices begin to, to correct themselves a little bit. So anyways, I'm going to end this video. Uh, I thank everybody for tuning in and watching another episode of Andrew's Life. For all of you new subscribers, I thank you guys very much and I appreciate every one of you. And for those of you that have been leaving comments below, I appreciate every one of you as well. And for those of you that are just beginning to watch my channel, consider subscribing below. Because I will be doing much more traveling in the very near future. And if you like any of these videos, put a thumb, leave a thumbs up. Until next time, everybody have a blessed one, and I will see you guys on the next one.